We're joined by head women's soccer coach Simon Ridioff following a 3-1 victory over James Madison. Coach, that's nine unbeaten games for you. Can you uh, open with a statement? Another good performance. I think today you saw you saw the offensive firepower we've got and a little bit cleaner in the final third and that game could have been over a lot earlier than it was. And Credit to James Madison, they came back, the wind was in their favour the second half and they put a lot of pressure on us and good teams bend and don't break and that's exactly what we did. We were under a little bit of pressure from James Madison the second half but uh, really didn't, they didn't create any good chances from their pressure. But uh, again, it should have been over by then. Coach, take a look at just the way your offense performed. I mean, three goals in the first half is something you don't see all that often, at least you haven't seen all that often this season. I mean, what do you attribute that to? They're, they're playing well at the moment. They're extremely dangerous. Uh, they're very technical. Uh, and you know, Porter's third goal was tremendous. But, um, you know, they're, they're just a, they're clicking. And I said in, in midweek, Jerry's been working on the forward movement and, and emphasising certain things. And I think you're seeing the fruition of that work he's been doing uh, day in, day out with training. Uh, coach, you guys only allowed two shots on goal for the entire team, for the entire game. Uh, some really stout defence there. What can you say about your team's effort on that side of the field? Yeah, uh, again, one of the shots was a corner kick. It wasn't even a shot. So yeah, they got one shot on goal. Um, our back four, commanded by Anya Sutner, is fantastic, and she's a tremendous little player. But it starts with our front three. If Miri. Bean and Sheps press like they can and like they did tonight, the back four's job's a little bit easier. Jordan did a fantastic job winning headers in the second half under pressure. Porter and uh, Bree Duran uh, put in a good effort. And uh, when you've got a team effort like that, you're going you're gonna to limit uh, other opponents to have these chances and that's what we did tonight. Coach, I mean, you take a look at the standings, you can see this team wasn't as solid as they were a season ago, but I mean, did you, were you almost surprised at how different the play was possibly from this op opposing team than it was a year ago? Yeah, they, uh, I, I honestly think they're actually a better team from a talent perspective than they were last year. I think last year they had a certain identity which made them difficult. Now he's trying to blend a couple of things like we did at the beginning of this season, trying to blend a couple of ideologies, a bit of philosophies. And uh, with clicking, I, don't, I just don't think they've got that yet. But they've got some really tremendous little players and uh, again I think because of the record confidence sometimes gets drained out of you and, and they're not playing with any confidence but to be fair they're putting a good shift about 45 minutes to, to put us under a lot of pressure so uh, they're going to get some wins in the next couple of games. Finally coach how do you use this win to propel you going forward in conference play? Well again I think we've got we've still got some work to do uh, there's still a lot of things in that game which were disappointing from our perspective defensively. I think we gave too many throw-ins when we told them not to. Uh, technically, we should have been better. Individual defending should have been better. I think we should have headed the ball more instead of the late drop. I think um, you know we were a little bit soft at times. I think there was times where some of our forwards could have got the ball going into goal, but they backed off. And they got the second ball, but they should have won that first. And they would have been uh, looking at different things and communication you know the three or four chances that second half if somebody spoke about time or or whatever we're looking at a different scoreline so we've got we've got work to do we'll address it tomorrow in the in our recovery session and then we'll get ready for delaware who's flying at the moment so it's going to be a, a big battle down in delaware sounds good coach thank you All right, thank you thank you very much thanks coach. fellas